That's right, I've remade Hypixel Skyblock for single player. No mods, no plugins, just pure vanilla Minecraft. Ever wanted to have billions of coins? Mess with incredibly high enchantment levels. Create your own items and mobs and play test them in game? Well, now you can do all of those things and much more. This right here is my public release video for version one. If you haven't seen any of the devlogs leading to this point, don't worry. On screen and if you hover over the video timeline, you'll find a table of contents on everything I'm going to cover in this video, and this will all catch you up to speed. However, even if you are fully caught up on the series, I still recommend watching everything in this video, as there are some important notes and some new features that haven't been mentioned in the devlogs yet. So let's begin. Firstly, what is this project? The Hypixel Skyblock remake is an attempt at recreating Hypixel Skyblock in 1.16 single player of Minecraft, using absolutely nothing except command blocks and resource packs. To be super clear, this is a world download and not a server. This remake is different from the way the original was made, as they use plugins, which means yes, everything in this project was hand coded and was not a code steal from Hypixel. I also think it's an important thing to mention that I had explicit permission from Simon and the Hypixel Skyblock team to release this. I do recommend you all read Simon's response to the project in its entirety, but to summarise the most important points, a free download, which is what this is, is okay. No one who downloads this map can use it for monetization purposes, other than making YouTube videos. This means you cannot create your own public server using this. The only exception to that is maybe creating a private server with a few friends. If you're making a YouTube video on this, you must clearly specify this is a remake and not the main server. And finally, you shouldn't see this as an alternative to Hypixel Skyblock, but rather an additional mode. If you enjoyed that game, play it. So I think they're all extremely reasonable requests, so make sure we follow them. I have nothing but respect for everyone who went into developing the original game. Developers never get enough appreciation these days. I can only hope they see this project as an ode to their incredible work. Just before we get into the features, I want to emphasize that this is only version one. So this isn't a complete remake quite yet. There will be future updates adding new content and fixing bugs, but I'll talk more about those during the what is to come section of this video. Due to what is and isn't currently implemented, the remake isn't currently very survival friendly. Reason I say this is, the public ore, tree and crop regeneration aren't currently in the game, which without them makes it pretty hard to experience the remake without cheating, in version 1 at least. For this reason, it's recommended you should play it as a sandbox until the later versions. I know this is a bummer for quite a lot of people who will have to wait longer to play legit, so I do apologise for that. However, there is still a bunch of fun things to do. So. Currently in the remake is all of the public islands and NPCs there. However, only dialogue based NPCs work right now. NPC shops aren't functional yet. Moving between worlds is super simple in the remake. You can use the launch pads as per usual, but you can also just fly over and it'll instantly transfer you into the correct world. Up to 16 private islands. All of the mobs, which includes their damage, health, drops and AI. Some natural spawning has been done in the main island, howling caves, deep caverns and the end, but it's still a big work in progress as some spawning needs improvement, and some spawning just hasn't been done at all yet, such as the spider's den, blazing fortress and the passive mobs on farm islands. The sidebar, which currently keeps track of your money, location and also the time slash season you're in. The stat system, so custom player health, damage, defense, crits, magic find, etc. Almost all of the swords, bows, armor sets, tools, etc. Although these aren't craftable yet, so can only be accessed through the cheats UI or mob drops. And also, only a select few have functioning abilities right now. Aspect of the End, Ember Rod, Aspect of the Jerry, Aspect of the Dragons, Ink Wand, Bonzo Staff, Spirit Sept, Frozen Scythe, Normal, Ornate and Florid Zombie Swords, Midas Staff, Slime Hat, and Crystal Armor. And then the other functioning miscellaneous items we have are the Grappling Hook, and Magical Mushroom Soup, Summoning Eyes, and Remnants of the Eye. As well as real Skyblock admin gear and mob spawn eggs. All of the custom enchantments, except a couple which were recently added, 
which can be added to items using the custom enchanting table I've made and the custom anvil. The skyblock crafting table, which of the new skyblock recipes only has the crystal and dragon armor crafts at the moment. Dragon fights are also in the game, with all the animations and everything. A start on the fishing system, such as sometimes being able to fish up squid. Collection tracking and also reward messages. I've also made the main skyblock GY, although it is half the size as the original. You can already do most of the stuff you can normally do here, such as viewing collection progress, stats, at the ender chest, crafting, teleporting to your island, trades, etc, etc. An important note to that is, yes, skills are not in version 1. A cheats GY where you can change settings, give yourself items, etc, which I'll talk about in just a second. This is essentially going to be your hub of entertainment in version 1. If you want to revoke a player from having this GY, you can also simply do so by doing slash tag player name remove cheats enabled. All the accessories, as well as the accessory bag in the GY, which has to be unlocked through redstone collection of course. And finally, I've also made a website generator where you can make custom items. So, there's all the features I've currently coded in. However, just because a feature's in the game doesn't necessarily mean it's something fun to play with. A good example being the GY crafting table, for example. You aren't exactly going to spend hours of time crafting some sticks for fun. Therefore, I've also made this other list, which is everything I personally find really fun to do in the remake. Lots of which can't even be done in real Hypixel Skyblock. So, here it is. Number one, join an island. Or potentially even multiple, I guess. Number two, the dragon fights, of course. Number three, making OP items with whatever enchants I want. Number four, making custom swords, bows, armor sets, etc. using the online generator, which I've linked in the description. I will, however, be making a dedicated tutorial video on how to use it, if you don't know, and also on how to make custom mobs, so stick around for that in a later upload. Also, simply flying around in creative and messing with the map can be really satisfying. By accessing the Cheats GY, which is in the top left of your GY, you'll be able to just click to toggle and you'll find all of these options of things you can do. So first of all we have Get Items and you'll see there's all these categories here, so I can give myself an Aspect of the Dragons, some Superior Armour for example, or maybe even a real Admin item, such as Anubis. Then we have the Teleport section, so I can just click on Gold Mine for example and I'll instantly be teleported here. Then we have Change Base Stats, and then by doing so I could choose any stat I want and then just change the value. So now I'm at 400% speed by just clicking a couple of buttons. You can then set coins. And as you can see right now I have zero coins but by clicking this button. Instantly 100 million coins or I could just reset if I like. Then there's upgrade collections which is still a work in progress so that isn't currently functional. Next is my personal favourite custom enchanting. So I can either give myself a maxed book which is the highest level of all of the existing enchants. Or I can choose a specific category, so I could go swords for example, then choose the sword enchant I want, so I could go to sharpness, and then I can just click this book to get it. Or I can increase the level, so I can just spam 100 a couple times, maybe even jitter click on it, I don't know. And then if I click this book again, I'll now have a sharpness level 2001 book. And given that I have enough levels, I can combine these to actual weapons. So there's my sharpness 2001 aspect for the dragons. Finally we have the settings page, which currently has 10 that you can control, and a bunch more to come in the future. Some examples of what we have here are special zealot chances, superior dragon chances, unlimited coins, being able to exceed the anvil max enchantment levels to make super high enchants, etc. I'll leave you guys to explore the rest for yourself as there's some pretty cool stuff here. And as I said, if you don't want some people accessing this cheats GY, you can also remove their privileges from doing so by doing slash tag name remove cheats enabled, like so. So, you finally want to install the remake? Great, let's go through how to do it right now. Firstly to clarify, the remake is for Minecraft 1.16. For those asking for 1.8, unfortunately that's impossible for me to do using the command system, as it was so basic back then. In a future update, however, I will be re-implementing the 1.8 combat system as an optional setting into the world, so it's not all bad. To get the world, you want to go into the description of this video and click on the link to the download. That'll take you to my website. 
Once here, you're going to want to click on this world download button, but heads up, it's a very big file. Once downloaded, you need to unzip it, and inside you should find a map folder and a resource pack folder. I haven't personally had any issues when unzipping this, but a few of my beta testers did. So if you're using some software which are giving you issues, I recommend just trying an alternative software such as 7-Zip, WinRAR, etc. If you want to play it in single player, you must first apply the resource pack by coming in here and clicking open resource pack folder. Drag and drop the pack named Skyblock Remake Resources into this folder and then close and reopen the menu and you should find it in the list and you can just apply it. You need to make sure this is at the top of your enabled list. So if you have any other resource packs installed, this should take priority over those. That's step one done. Now, you need to also add the map. To do this, we need to open our saves folder. This can be easily accessed by clicking edit on any of your worlds and then clicking open worlds folder. We can then go back one folder and all of your existing worlds should show up in this folder here. Just drag and drop your download named Skyblock Remake Map into here. Before loading up the world, there's also a couple things to decide. As I said, this is a very big file, so your PC will need all the help it can get. Firstly, you might want to decide whether you want to use Optifine or Fabric for FPS boosts. As I said, this works 100% vanilla, so you don't have to follow this step if you don't want to. But, if you are interested in having an FPS boosting mod, I'll put a link in the video description of how to install Fabric Sodium and Optifine. But I won't go into it too much here, as pretty much everyone knows about FPS boosting mods by now. Secondly, you want to check how much RAM you've got dedicated to Minecraft. For this map, you pretty much have to have dedicated a minimum of 3GB. To check and change how much RAM you've dedicated to Minecraft, firstly, you're going to have to see how much RAM your PC has. If you don't know how to do this, on Windows you can easily do this by opening the Task Manager, but on Mac or Linux, you may need to search a tutorial as I'm not personally sure. RAM usually goes up in 2s, so 2, 4, 8, 16, so to be able to dedicate 3GB to your RAM, you need at least 8GB on your PC I suggest. Anyways, now that you've done that, you need to go into your launcher, click installations and open the version you want to play in. So for me, it's my 1.16 fabric version. You can then click on more options and scroll down to JVM arguments section. You can paste in the following, which is in the description of this video. And if you only want 3GB, you don't have to change anything here, you can just click save and open up your world. But if you want to increase it from 3 to a different number, you can change where it says 3 to whatever you like. I personally wouldn't recommend going over half the RAM of your PC, so as my PC has 32GB of RAM, I'm going to dedicate 16GB. But clearly I'm being extremely overkill. Once you've done that, you can load up the world and get started. The vast majority of our bug testing was done in single player, and for that reason, at the moment playing this map in multiplayer could be unstable, so it isn't recommended unless you're okay experiencing a bunch of bugs. But again, that is just temporary. In the future, all of these bugs will be flattened out, and it'll be a good experience for everybody. If you're willing to take the chances, how to upload a map onto your server will vary depending on your hosting service, so I recommend looking up one of their tutorials. For example, my channel affiliate, Apex Minecraft Hosting, link in the description by the way, has an in-depth video just on this topic. When adding the map to multiplayer, you'll also need to make sure the resource pack automatically enables when the player joins, which I'm sure there's also a bunch of tutorials on YouTube on how to do. And that's both the installations done. If you find any bugs to report, I have a channel on my Discord server where you can submit them. When doing so, try to see if the bugs are already being reported so we don't have too many duplicates. As for future updates, you will only have to download the data pack rather than the entire map when having an update, meaning you won't lose your progress each version. But more on that when an update comes, there's no point telling you all this now. In terms of what is to come, the answer is loads. I haven't asked you to subscribe once yet this video, but we're well over 10 minutes in, so if you could please subscribe, that would mean the absolute world to me. We've been ridiculously close to 30,000 subscribers for a while now, and if we hit that crazy milestone, it would literally be a childhood dream come true for me. It's also good for you too, as you'll be able to keep up on all of the following cool series. Firstly, we'll continue to work on updates for this map, and progress and struggles will be documented through the devlog series. Secondly, one to two weeks after a devlog, a new type of video will be coming out, which is basically where I release the updates. This new series will be a summary of the features, bug fixes, and optimizations since the previous version. So in other words, 
what is in the new release, whereas the devlog will be how I manage to code what I code. Thirdly, I'm also considering another Skyblock series, where I build new islands, give them their, you know, custom mobs, collections, items, etc. based on your suggestions. I could then even release them as optional add-ons for the Hypixel Skyblock remake, which I thought sounded extremely exciting. By being a 1.16, the remake can access all of the new content for 1.9 and later, making these custom island possibilities basically endless. So let me know what you think of this new series idea in the comments as well. Finally fourth, if you didn't know I also do weekly live streams every Saturday where I code, so by subbing with notifications you'll be able to see where I go live. If you missed them, I've also started doing some great stream highlights on the More Blue second channel, with the help of some highlight editors. So, if you're into all of that amazing stuff, go on and subscribe. And if you really want to help out, consider even leaving a like on this video, and maybe even using the share button down below to recommend this video to a friend, to tell the algorithm that more people should see this video. And that's pretty much a wrap on this video. Before we go though, although the vast majority of this has been done as a solo project that I've done on my own, there is some people I'd like to give a huge thank you to. The people on Scream all contributed to the project in some way, by either giving me permission to use their code from their own projects, or giving me the inspiration I needed to code something myself. Within the last month, a developer team has also been made to help me produce updates for this map faster. All of these dedicated developers are also on screen right now, so thank you so so much to all of you guys too. Their contributions so far have already included finishing rare mob drops, adding mob AI, and starting to work on some item abilities. And I couldn't give a thank you without giving a huge thank you to my patrons, which you're all seeing on screen right now. Your generosity really means the world to me, and I cannot express my appreciation enough. And finally, thank you to you. I've been working really, really hard on this project for over a year now, and it feels incredible to have finally finished something which is ready for a release, albeit still a huge work in progress. We wouldn't have got this far without the motivation that you guys provided me, so thank you all so much for your love and support. Hopefully the remake is a success and lives up to all of your massive expectations. I love you all, and I'll see you all next video. Bye! Listen.